Hey everyone, I'm here with the 2019 Alfa Romeo Giulia Q2 sedan and this is the TI Sport with the 19 inch five hole design wheels. They're not in the Miron black. Uh, it's, this is not the Nero, it is the Oni package. This is just the TI Sport. Um, it's got the red sport seats inside, no forward collision warning, no blind spot, rear wheel drive. It's got like 7,000 miles on it and this for me is a uh, it's just a loaner car while my other Julia is in the in the shop. Um, so I just got this loaner car for a few days and I just want to go over how the Q2 rear wheel drive car drives in comparison to the four wheel drive uh, Q4 model. And this one's, you know, alpha white with alpha red, uh, red leather interior. And it's got the red Alfa Romeo calipers for the brakes, 19 inch wheels, like I said before. And this one, it's just got, it's got front and rear park sensors, but it's got no other safety packages. And it's, this is more of the hardcore sports sedan kind of feel that some customers are really looking for. And I gotta say, this drives so, so it's very focused, it's very fast. Uh, the steering it feels even quicker than the Q4 model and the suspension it's probably the same suspension to be honest, but it's lowered uh, between a half and a full inch suspension uh, is lowered between uh, the Q4 down to the Q2 sedan. So it feels even more sporty, even more close to the ground. Um, so I gotta say it feels even more focused as a driver's car. Um, yeah, so I mean overall the white is very stunning actually in this car, especially with the black uh, grille and other black uh, DLO moldings around the um, around the windows. So it honestly is very sporty to drive, very cool. We'll show you the inside. Uh, just to mention, these are the Pirelli Centrado P7 all season uh, summer, well, they're, they're all season performance tires, but it's got 19 inch rims, which provides a little bit more grip, a little more stability to the tire itself for a more sporty driving experience, but you'll trade off a little bit of comfort in that regard. Black window trim is kind of nice, um, just adds a little more, you know, sportiness and flavor to the car for the sporty edition that this one is. And stepping inside, you can see that these seats are, hug you much more than the normal uh, seats that are in my car. So if you like pull out the seat extender too, you, if you're long legged like me, I'm six feet tall, so I want more thigh support. So you can extend that pretty easily with a little... Um, lever underneath the seat here and that just slides this in and out um, but they're like the red, red ribbed sport seats that are uh, really uh, indicative of an Italian sports sedan but other than that it's a red interior um, doesn't have the Harman Kardon sound system it's it's not like that it doesn't have the special sound system but it still sounds pretty decent um, you can tell there's a little bit of degradation down from the Harman Kardon system, but it's really not bad. Um, and overall, I mean, the only downside I've seen on this, I'm not a huge fan of the aluminum interior trim. I think, I think it adds like that sporty flavor to it, but at the same time, it doesn't feel as luxurious. So it just is a matter of what your taste is and what you're looking for in a car. If you really are into a hardcore sports sedan and want the sportiest, sedan under 50 grand on the market i don't think there's anything sportier than this under 50k with the sharpest steering sharpest throttle sharpest drive-by wire brakes the most huggy like narrow seats you can get in the class that really hold you in corners with thigh extension red interior sport wheels sport suspension I honestly don't think there's anything under 50 grand that will give you a sportier driving experience if you're absolutely looking for it. Um, so I would say overall, you know, it gets a little bit better fuel economy too than my Q4 sedan, driving very spiritedly. I've been getting 29 miles per gallon overall in this. And in my uh, Q4 sedan, I'd probably be getting closer to like 27 miles per gallon. So honestly, you get better miles per gallon. You get a slightly quicker, not off the line, but from a acceleration standpoint at speeds above 20 miles per hour, it feels faster than the Q4 sedan because it's like 180 pounds lighter because no all wheel drive system, the light end feel, uh, front end feels lighter. 
So overall, like this is the ultimate sports sedan. You can't get anything sportier on the market than this, in my opinion, of all the cars I've driven, three series, A4, C class. The only one I haven't driven is the Jaguar XE, but that one's heavier. Um, it's, it, it doesn't have like those, the, the is sporty of seats. And so you're just not gonna feel like you're in a race car the same way that this sports sedan really gives you. Uh, so that's my quick take on this Q2 sedan and just some of the differences, small, but when you like small individual differences from the Q4 to the Q2, but overall, if you add up the lower ride height, the bigger wheels, the faster acceleration, the lighter front end, the sportier seats, um, you honestly get a, uh, a much, it, add, it, add it all up and it gets much sportier when you go to the Q2 model. So if you're in a warm climate, and you can uh, bear without four-wheel drive in the winter months, I would highly recommend the rear-wheel drive one over the four-wheel drive. That's just me. Some people might prefer the slightly higher ride height and um, slightly more luxurious feel of the four-wheel drive model. Um, but if you're really into the hardcore sports sedan focused street and combo track driving, you're gonna really enjoy the Q2 model. So I hope you enjoy this video. And if you have any questions about this, 2019 Julia Q2 TI Sport. Just let me know in the comments section below. And thank you guys for watching and I hope you have a great rest of your day.